You know that videography of filmmaking is basically storytelling to add visual effects and special effects to spice it up a little bit. And today I'm here with a tutorial on how to float objects like Brandon Howard or Ashley Lowe. You are going to need two shots for it, one a blank video and another one with the, your phone uh, slightly raised with an object. You could directly slide it on a surface like this or you could put it on a tripod and slide it on a smooth surface like marble just stick some cello tape or something slippery on the rubber part so it slides smoothly don't worry to make the speed consistent we can do it in pose just try your best and make it smooth as possible and now record a blank shot with the same and I'm in PS touch you want to select the lasso tool and select the phone here you need to be precise while selecting the phone because it is going to affect the quality of the video you can use a black or background while you're shooting so it is nice and clean now after you have completed the selection you can go and feather just like two or three pixels not too much it will be odd looking if it's a little too much now you can go and inverse your selection so the other rest of the part are selected now go and empty layer fill and stroke and select a color like green or blue i'm selecting blue here and disable the bottom layer and save it as a png file save it as a png file now i will import the photo here that we exported and make it full screen Use a split screen as a reference to make it nice and tight. Now we can drop the opacity so we can see through this. And now we can go to the animate. And animate it as if the video moves slowly. It is gonna take some time. You gotta be patient but the effect is worth it guys. So after completing it you can drop. You can get your opacity back up and export this video. I'm gonna trim it to the size. And that's it. So, export the video. After you have done exporting it, uh, go to Photos app and you need to stabilize this. Uh, this is my shot in Photos app. You can see it's not that smooth. There's some stutter. You can click on this button and click on stabilize. It will automatically stabilize the video as well as it will make the video speed consistent. Click on save button. At the top right corner click on save and it will save you can also do the same with your blank shot do the same thing go it is not that smooth as you can see here now you can go and click on save stabilize and save this thing after you have done both I have imported both clips in my kind master here i'm gonna enable the chroma key and you may have to adjust it a slightly bit to get the blue tint of the device and that's it so that's that easy to fake this effect uh, you usually do this in premiere or after effects with masking and i think that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and it was lovely to meet you and catch you